It's a, you know, it's just a shame you guys lost that Hampton Central, but each team's going to have one of those. Yeah, if and we didn't lose this, we yeah, were. Like, right. I could be saying if we didn't lose to, um, we'd be sitting out right second. If mm. we didn't lose to Mackie, so, that's right. That's right. Um, but it's most likely that game against Hampton Central just before Christmas is probably going to be the one that's. Uh, just kept us out of a, a legitimate uh, spot for a finals uh, mm -hmm. contention there. So, but that's the um, they're the uh, the mathematical. It's a huge contrast, isn't it? Just the top six versus the, the bottom. Well, that that's plays a part because you've got one team that's won every game, and you've got another team that's uh, lost every game. So, of course, there's going to be a bit of a glut. I've never known it to be so two sided. Mm -hmm. Usually, there's only one or two teams that you could you know say, oh, you know, we should win. In the past, you know that's been the case, but this year you could throw a hat, um, you know, blanket over it, what, four or five. Well, I think, I think you've got a couple of clubs who uh, have, I guess, benefited from the fact that the majority of the season's been a one-day competition, with Page Park and Kingston Heath. But you know, you get some some cheeky wins and, and so forth. But uh, in the end, it's about being able to sustain that. And and now at this time of the season, when it comes to depth. Being able to last out a whole season, and now with 72 overs uh, part of the mix, um, some some depth is really tested there now. So mm. I guess that's that's probably why you're seeing some teams drop away significantly, like a Kingston Heath and a, and a Carnegie South. Look, example. the pressure the pressure's really on now on United to, to follow through on a good year and, and get the trophy because. There'll be a fair bit of vegetation, I'd imagine, come to this time of the season. Because you've got all these blokes who want to be part of that 11 at the right time yeah. of the season. So it'll be an interesting... Internally, interesting it's, yeah, internally it'll be a good fight for those spots, which means the twos, which we're talking about playing Washington Park, probably in the final, that mm. will mean they'll have a pretty strong team. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's one of those... I've seen it before when teams, they coast through the year, they get through, you know, three or four down most games, um, in a final, you get through the first three or four, have had those hits and that, that time yeah. increase, you get into the bottom yes. or the middle order, and um, you know they haven't had much of a hit and um, usually you can get through them. So, um, yeah. again, I, uh, they've, they've got probably the best of living in, in the comp. So, um, again, the pressure's they on. They do, especially, especially when there's a bit, of, um, a bit of coin being thrown around too. The pressure's on too, we're walking out too for something. And, you know, yeah, yeah, well, you know, I mean, like, you know, they, they, yeah. they've set themselves up to be in the position, and now this is when whether the investors has been worth it. Exactly. Yeah, you know, so. Maybe the keys might be in the car when you get off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're just finishing over the trophy. Yeah, well, you know, anyway, it makes it very much an interesting last couple of rounds, and um, as mentioned, AA versus the page at the page uh, round 10. So, um, the retirement of Adam Mickelson uh, in this time well, it's been, this yeah, season. Yeah, but this season. Um, uh, well, it's been, I've enjoyed it. It's been it's been good fun and three and zero. You know, can't uh, oh, us well, running well, well playing at home every game. I couldn't yeah, really have swung that. You don't get three at home uh, in a row. So mm. um, all the best. Good luck. Cheers.